All right, this one's gonna be some going back and forth. So, I'm gonna step seven to get to the turtle. We want the turtle to step 20, not 10. What? I don't know what I just typed there. So when he walks seven and the turtle goes 20, and then he goes seven and the turtle goes 20, he goes seven and the turtle goes 20, oh, I think that might be all we need. So for T and turtle means for each turtle. So our loops are not always depending upon the bananas that we're collecting. As l the only thing you can't use a for loop for is something that you only have one item of. Or I guess you could, but that would make zero sense. Um, so let's run this and see how it works. Look at how simple this code is. And think of what it would have looked like way back at the beginning of our course. Up, oh, four and distance two. Okay, so this is a one star. Um, they tricked me. We gotta go back and fix it, which we can do. Um, so this is gonna be step distance to T. What? Now, okay, that is not at all what it should look like. Let me just start that whole line over. Step distance to T. And then T step 20. We could put another for loop in there, but that would overcomplicate it. Let's see if they're happy with this one. There we go. Now it's three stars. <laughs> 